When was the last time you were scared? The last time you had no idea what to do or where to go. Springfield families are in that place right now. As a matter of fact, Springfield has a 40% father absence rate. What that means is that four out of 10 children in Springfield are growing up in a home in which their biological father doesn't live. But God has always been a father. He's never not been loving. He loved us so much that he waged and gave everything he had to prove his love to us. Spilled every drop of blood he had because he loved us so much. So fatherhood and fathering is at the top of God's heart issues. Can't deny it. I have never met a father who signed up for a fatherhood class that did not want to be the best dad he can be for his children. Never. 100% of the fathers who enroll, who make that kind of commitment, have it in their heart to do whatever they can to be involved in their children's lives and to be the best dad they can be. And so we saw a need for specific in-demand job training so that the fathers have an opportunity to be trained and then an opportunity to take that certificate and turn it into a job. And so the Fathering Institute is designed to take those kinds of best practices and combine it with another best practice and that is a mentor. To a potential mentor or a coach, the opportunity is really endless. What you're doing is just saying, I'm committing to walking with this young man or this father, and I'm here just to help them achieve their goals. Leveraging my experience, my background, my history to help another person, to apply what you've learned and help somebody else see Jesus through you. We have a wonderful opportunity that we've been given. God has given us some resources to make it happen. We, we got resources now that we didn't have in our community to really make that happen. The argument that we ain't got the funding, we got the funding now. So funding's not an issue. What we need are people that have a heart, who believe that discipling and discipleship means something, helping somebody else achieve what God wants them to be. Hi, my name is Craig. When my daughter was born, I was excited, but I was fearful I was gonna let her down. I was addicted to drugs, and I wasn't ready for any kind of responsibility. The impact of mentoring a father could change lives for generations. Because of men like Eli and Daryl mentoring me, I am able to be an involved, nurturing, loving father in my kid's life. And so I don't believe we should ever give up on a family. I don't think we should ever give up on a man. I think that even those who have made mistakes have the potential to becoming the kinds of fathers that their children desperately need.